Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Judy Njogu and I film a lot in the car. Uh, like now something has just cropped up in my mind. I'm coming from work a bit early. There wasn't much going on in the office. Most of the work is done. Anyway, I just wanted to ask, have you ever, ever sat with somebody who you thought that you know, like you vibe well and then you sit and have a conversation and you're like, so how is it going? What do you think of the country where it's going? You know, like you have nothing to talk about. And then the problem is that I brought in politics and I asked the person, what do you think that now um, we have chosen and uh, now we are in the era of Ruto, our current president and uh, just what's your thoughts do you do you think it's gonna be good do you think it's going to be better do you think it's going to perform what do you think or what are you looking forward to and the guy goes like we have we are screwed like what do you what and i'm like but it has happened he has been chosen people have chosen him people have spoken he's like no i don't if he's already sick vote then i'm like if you didn't vote you have no right to speak about uh whether the it's it's the it's the right person that was chosen or not i'm not in support of anyone by the way but i'm like this is the president that has been chosen right whether i chose him or not is besides the point but this is the person so can we just be hopeful? Can we pray? Can we have some, you know, like pray for better things? Because me, I'm so positive. I'm like, I think he's gonna want to prove what people are thinking or what people have been saying. But there is no president that has ever been uh, chosen, and everyone was like, yes, this is it. Everyone agreed, and they were hundred percent. People will always complain about. People complained about Kibaki, and it did much you know about um about uhuru he did a lot have you seen our roads guys like you get in places that you never thought you'd get so fast because the roads have been fixed you know and added but you'll still find someone being so negative like sometimes it's good to look at the good in people like not even in people what has this person does or do you think they can do good atiapana we're done Mimi at us, you were going to do what? I'm like, so what are you gonna do? You wanna just crawl back to where you came from and die? Like you didn't make us some mercy. Have you ever met, met some people who are so negative? Like if you, even if you try to show them like the light at the end of the tunnel or something that something can come uh, good out of a certain situation. Yani, they're stuck in their ways and they're like, no, we are screwed. I was like, you know what? You are screwed by yourself. You've already agreed you're screwed by yourself because what I know is that at the end of the day, I still have to wake up and work hard and go to work and look for ways to make uh, my life better. Like, no, even those ones you can't make, stew what? And I'm like, nigga, uh -uh, that person just drained me. I hope you're not that kind of a person. I hope that today, whatever situation you're going through that you have, you know, like, and you're hoping for something better you know it's it's important to be positive about things by the way it is important because if you're stuck in a situation and there is no way out what can you do you just hope for the best and pray for the best and put your best foot forward work hard for that right good morning it's seven something i had to make breakfast but this bread has been in the fridge so i didn't know how to make it warm first i like warm Bread. I don't know about you. Um, with Ryan and his best friend Ethan. Oui. Ryan is still asleep, of course. He loves his sleep. He's probably going to wake up at ten or something. But when he wakes up, then uh, we can figure out: Are we staying indoors? And if we are staying indoors, what are we cooking? That will be a nice way to spend time together. So, hey guys, we're going to the exhibition. <laughs> Ryan didn't know I was filming. <laughs> Ethan, yeah. say hi. Hi. i 
your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave That's my favorite big church. It's like, it's like speaks to me. It's so gorgeous. Then it's a pain when you see what they, she had to go through. You know, she's so gorgeous. Yeah, love, love, love that. Also, if you if you you can buy prints of the yeah the yeah, I'll talk to Marvin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would not mind having that actually. It's really be a right answer. Yeah. So guys, have you ever gone to a cafe, restaurant or somewhere you're supposed to service industry, yeah? Somewhere you're supposed to be served and you are paying for it, it's not for free. But you're left waiting. So after the exhibition where we've seen, I've been waiting for Marvin, uh, who is part of the organization actually, him and uh, that lady Birth, she's called Birth, that lady, yeah. And I decided to sit at the cafe to wait for him. Maybe we can order something quick to eat at the Che Cafe. Nimeka 30 minutes, I was like, these guys think I can't afford, I had to call Kate and ask her, Kwani, how much is food here? Maybe they looked at me and the way I was dressed, they were like, hmm. I see for drumming, so you are 800 bob. Ama, maybe I'm not light enough because they now a zungwa mengel. They were, you know, like just at the, at the entrance, like, hey, do you have a reservation? Oh, see so where you can sit there. You guys, have you ex have you ever experienced that? Have you ever experienced such a disservice? Because it's a disservice. I mean, if it's an open space, I know they right, they have right of uh, reservations, but if they don't want some kind of people or people who are looking a certain way, then they just don't let them in, you know, like you're not allowed here. It's not a big deal. I know places have gone and people are like, you only allow a certain kind of people or you can even feel the vibe. But this one, I'm, I'm just, I'm actually disappointed, but to die by the experience, this is my first time and I'm like, <laughs> you live and you learn. So, to me, I'm happy. Okay, okay. Through, through Jumia. Through Jumia. Hi, guys. So, this is Marvin Imagery. Or just Marvin. Or just <laughs> Marvin Imagery is the. Okay. Yeah. His name is uh, Marvin. Mavingo, you can check him out on YouTube. Not YouTube. Yeah, even on YouTube. YouTube. I have a YouTube which I which never. You? I have almost six thousand subscribers, but Ooh, I, that's more than me. I, you guys, you have to shinda these guys. Please subscribe to this channel but, because but I he has really, more, but he doesn't post. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm really, it's all right. Okay. I'm ruining your photo. No, you can join actually. Thank you. Yeah, so, so I have um, like. Tell us about. Um, what you're doing today and why so today we have, I am here. Uh, uh, we're happy to have you here, Judy. So today we have um, an exhibition, a photo exhibit. You want to join the video? Come, 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 come. That's what I am keeping <laughs> from where I am. <laughs> yeah, so we have a photo exhibition today. Today is Mashuja Day. Uh, for those who don't know, Mashuja Day is Heroes Day in Kenya. It's the day we celebrate our heroes, whatever kind of hero you have. But the reason the day was uh, set up was because of the freedom fighters, the people who fought for, for our freedom as Kenyans, the people who fought against the British for us to get our independence. So that's the reason why we celebrate this day. But today you can celebrate anybody 
Um, I celebrated has, myself. Ah, that's I'm my shuja. I'm my own shuja. <laughs> You're your own shuja. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, today is the day to celebrate anyone who is doing something heroic to you or to your country, to your family. It could be your parent, your brother, something and sister, heroic your... to you. <laughs> something heroic to me. So today I'm going to be uh, selfish a bit and say, today, like for me, Mashuja Day is simply for the Mau Mau, the freedom fighters. Uh, they sacrificed their lives, their families. They gave it their all for us to be where we are right now. If we were living in the 1950s, we would not be here at Cheche Books, just making videos. We'd probably be somewhere in the forest fighting. But since, wow. <laughs> since those people already paid that price, yeah. today we are able to, to do vlogs with Judy. We are, and celebrate them. We are able to come here, have coffee, enjoy life. Our to a coffee make up for 30 minutes, so I can soup. Don't talk about coffee. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think it's, it's still a bit early. Apana, what we ingini wa mesa yangu. Still oh, mad about oh. it. I'm sorry about that. But but, okay. but come to this side. This side is awesome. Welcome yeah. to Church of Books. It's amazing. You can come here, buy books. Uh, they have amazing books. I've seen some books by Kenyan uh, authors. Authors. They are yeah. amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know if you've taken photos or yeah, uh, photos. So to me, decide could you swimming Mimi na Z Boys, uh, the club. Hey. Leo kweli nimetembea na naona watu wengi kuna tu Good morning today I'm in red and I've decided I'm not going to dress like the way I feel the only thing I'm not putting on is lipstick because it has really darkened my lips apparently I'm supposed to put a base or something and then I put my lipstick I just apply it apply it on like just directly Jeez, this beauty things is not for me. Ah, it is not for me because I can't keep up. Anyway, um, just at the petrol station, as I'd said in my earlier vlog, I usually put like full tank and then see how it goes. So I know per month how much I'm using. Trust me, it's easier. It's easier to handle. I know some people will be like, oh, full tanks, you want to Last time it was 9,500 and something. So today I've put just before, so it was like 9,000 bob. And uh, of course, after full tank, I check the tires. I've seen all of them were low. They were like 30 each and they're supposed to be 35. I changed my back tires after the incident I had on the short drive to, to where I was, yeah. Oh, the guy has finished. Turn him. What do you think? That's all. Mama Liza? Santi. Yes, Santi. Yes, yes. So I'm getting to, I'm going to park. And I'm in red. And I have a date today. You guys, I'm excited about a date. Like, I'm two years old. I'm excited about this date. I am. Watch and talk about story screen. But for now, just know I'm excited for today's date. Not excited about the work I'm going to do. But work, work as in the job. Then after, but after that, I have the date. And uh, looking forward. Looking forward. So I've entered the supermarket very fast to buy this. These things get lost like so fast. This, these two things. Sometimes I'm like, why am I buying it? It's 340 shillings, which is not cheap for a lip balm. I guess it's not cheap. Uh, but it's like, um, if I was to buy a MAC lipstick, it would be about almost the same amount. Almost the same amount. Because the last time I bought a MAC lipstick, it was like 360 or 350, something like that. But now this is good because it moisturizes your skin. Are uh, your your lips and uh but i've bought so many i get bored buying them i buy the get loss yani it in your kazi and i don't know where they get loss and then after a long time i find it's melted in a jacket like a pocket it's in one of the bags but the time i was looking i could not get it so let's hope i'll be able to maintain this Whoa! 
Guys, who's Sammy? Welcome! Kids! To introduce yourself. Welcome, guys. You wanna say something? I'm going serious. Hilary, could you say happy birthday? Guy, you're not talking? Yeah, I'm talking about grown up kids. Who wants this? These two things. Nothing like your smile in the morning. Following the linings on your cheeks. Cause baby, in your absence, life is boring. So I'll never leave. So, guys, my nails are ready. No art or anything, it's just. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Quick catch up because I've not been saying much. In fact, I remember filming without saying a thing. I've really been going out. So um, I have a friend who we just hooked up as friends we wanted to know each other more and we've gone to the club like several times we went to moranga uh we went to sub royal we went to like hey 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 i've been i'm like <laughs> all i'm trying to say is that this month has been crazy like i can't remember the last time i went out like a whole freaking month it's three four days and i go out um, I met with Lady after doing my pedicure manicure, so I went to Ozone. Then after Ozone, we went to Karen. I went to Can Karen Country Club, where DJ Adrian was playing, and I had so much fun. By the way, in case you didn't know, 
DJ Adrian is my friend like for the longest time, even before Ryan was born. And it was like he's late, you know. Then, um, where did we go after that? Then uh, the day after, where did I go? I've really been going out like I can't remember some of those things. But I've been meeting with my workmates. I remember meeting again with Lady Lily. Uh, there were two ladies, Lily, Lorna. I was the only chair. <laughs> and um, I went home, I think, at one again. It's like, what's going on? And then I went for Kidum. And that was after going with Ryan uh, to Ryan's uh, prayer day because they have a school at Sabaki, which is way bigger than the one in Langata. And we went to see their new junior secondary, which is going to be a boarding in case we decide to put uh, our kids there for junior secondary. Anyway, from there we went to Kidum with Ethan's mom. Ethan is Ryan's best friend, so we went there and we got home, I think, also at 1, past midnight, almost 1. And guys, I've I've been going out. But in between, I made chapels without talking about it because I think there was so much music in the background, as you will see. And um, work has not been so much. I think that's why I've been having so much fun. We were doing the inspections. And um, uh, after the inspections, of course, we do the follow-ups. We give the we give the landlords uh, the details of what we have found. In case there's some work that's supposed to be done, we get contractors to go. We get the 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 quotes. The the landlord approves. Uh, the contractors does the work. Then we inspect. Then we pay them and we inform the landlords. And then sometimes we remove from the next month's rent, or sometimes the landlords pay directly. And if it's the responsibility of the tenant, the tenant pays for it but let me tell you what no tenant wants to spend money they just want to leave just leave like your bulb has issue your power has issue instead of calling kenya power the service provider or you have no water instead of discussing with kenya uh the nairobi water sewerage you talking to some even the internet like my zuku is not working it's a fully furnished house you said you were going to provide zuku i'm not the internet provider that's what we're providing if you're not comfortable with that maybe you can just send to safaricom because safaricom home works i'm not it's not sponsored but safaricom home works for me and uh these the others just i mean gosh anywho it's sunday uh yesterday after going to ran school we met with kate we had lunch. We dropped her home. That's when I came home, showered. We went for Kidum, uh, which was really good. And then got home, showered, slept. Now I'm to shower and go with Kit to breakfast. Kit and Ryan going for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I have clothes on. Good morning. How the hell we got here? But one thing Money. I'm saying, we gotta do this again. I've decided every day I'll be walking up at least five kilometers. This is a challenge that I was shown by my colleagues, and I wanna try it. So when Ryan is going to school to I see I can do the five kilometers. So I'm ready for this. Yeah, I'll do this good morning we have our monthly meeting today that's why i'm up early so i decided every day i'm going to do at least three kilometers so i've already done four kilometers walking and i'm heading to work but by evening i should have done like because considering how much i'm going to be walking i should have done by but by, by six i should have done about five so that should be the goal actually five kilometers per day five kilometers per day for now let's go to the office meeting i'm excited
people around me dancing and laughing fight I'm cold as an ice cream good morning it's day two day two let's see if you're going to keep this up Ryan, do you think i'm going to keep this up mm -hmm. for up to the whole month yes end of the month Outfits of the day. Hi guys, I come home. There's no lights, but my son is here. Of course, I'm happy to see my son. And then got a whole box of things from a client. Can you imagine? Like, like. Oh yeah, let me show you. This is the card. I'll just hide the name of the landlord. Oh my god! And these, like. Damn! And a bottle of wine. Let me see what wine it is. Oh, it's martini. Alcohol free. This. And this. And the chocolate. It's a menguka. It's a menguka but you see when I can be a very good okay. Landlo when land landlord says that you're good and you're working on their property, then that's a plus. Like, I'm always happy to hear that. Hi everyone, how are you? Been thinking lately, maybe I should open a podcast and uh, discuss discuss things about forty year olds, forty something year olds. Um, today I'm going to work. And then leaving work, my tire, the one I changed last time, had an issue. I was so pissed off. <sighs> it was not nice. Anyway, uh, the tire has gotten fixed. And we discovered that even the spare had an issue. And then after fixing, because it was in a petrol station, I decided to go to a mechanic that I know at Carmax where I used to work. Oh, that's why I have filmed a Jaguar. You'll see an old Jaguar. Like Jaguars are beautiful cars. And I think even the older they are, the I, I find them looking really nice you know it's a classy look although i have a friend who has a newer one and I, it's, it's a nice one but there's something about the classic cars anyway it's ethan's birthday it was Ethan, ethan's birthday the other day so i've just picked ryan from it's friday i've picked ryan from home and we want to pick ethan i take them for dinner i think it's not really a dinner because we're going to either java or art cafe just one of those those, those places yeah because that's what they enjoy good morning uh today is saturday and we're going to see one of our aunties so we are a group of four cousins come together and uh we thought why not do something other than just chatting and sharing memes and nonsense on our whatsapp group and we thought let's start seeing at least all our parents so i don't know when it reaches to my mom what's gonna happen maybe we need to get visas to go and visit her uh so we already visited one auntie in um in uh in 87 it's called mudore the place and then the other ones are in shags both of them very close to each other so we thought why don't we just combine we just go one day so i'm waiting for one of my cousins to pick me up we go to the other one and then live together and pick the other one on the way because we are four. And uh, we go and see one of the moms, the ones who is farthest and then the closest. And as we visit Shags, our Gukas place, also there is an auntie there, but we'll just pass by as a by the way. And then uh, come back home. And then, then we plan what to do about my mom. Maybe we'll just sit here at my place have um have a, a lunch or something we can video call mom if there's anything to be given it's good and pass our accident there
Elimo ge dia do. Hai. Wada kokora mete. Eh tokora mete toka hate. Ona wae me ge hata. Then in future you come and buy fruits from us. Ile tore to ka supplier. Supplier mete. Woke up and I'm broke inside again. So I thought I was gonna leave, but I'm here again. I'm stuck now, and so I don't wanna lie. Feels like every chance you get to let me down, you're all.